Anne Rand's anthem. Should it be what they claim of it, said Harmony 92642, then it will bring ruin to the Department of Candles. The candle is a great boon to mankind, as approved by all men. Therefore it cannot be destroyed by the whim of one. This would wreck the plans of the World Council, said Unanimity 29913, and without the plans of the World Council, the sun cannot rise. It took 50 years to secure the approval of all the councils for the candle, and to decide upon the number needed, and to refit the plans so as to make candles instead of torches. This touched upon thousands and thousands of men working in scores of states. We cannot alter the plans again so soon. And if this should lighten the toil of men, said Similarity 50306, then it is a great evil, for men have no cause to exist save in toiling for other men. These paragraphs are talking about the rediscovery of electricity, and that electricity replacing candles would drive the candle makers to find some other work. Keep in mind, the central planners, socialists, and communists have a history of antagonism with things that decrease the need for labor power. Hence the word sabotage comes from Dutch workers throwing their wooden shoes called sabots into labor-saving machines and breaking them early in the Industrial Revolution. Is there some technology that is dangerous for the future of human race? Yes, there probably is. And there are sustainability considerations, real ones and contrived ones, to fit an agenda. If you needed light, would you make a candle or electricity on a bulb? Moreover, do you want a central planning government to make that decision for you?